Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. Also, welcome to the reading vlog for, for, drum roll please. The Ember Quartet by Sabat Tahir. Finally, finally, finally we are here and finally I'm going to be starting uh, the series because I was waiting for The Sky Beyond the Storm which is the fourth and the last in the series to actually start this vlog and start reading these books and now that it's finally here, I can do it. I can do this and I know that I'm going to fly through these books, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm going to be starting an ember in the ashes today i don't know i'm so excited for this vlog and to read these these books that i'm like yes what took you so long to come home i was supposed to have done this in december the uh, sky beyond the storm was supposed to come out on 10th december but then it ended up getting postponed to 25th december and then to 10th january but it's finally here and i can start but i will be starting this series today. So I'm going to start with An Ember in the Ashes, obviously. It's the first book in the series. Let's get going. I won't be doing a um, review kind of thing, formal review kind of thing for, the, for this series, but I will only be reading and vlogging and I will tell you my thoughts, but not a proper review kind of thing. <laughs> do, do I make any sense? let's just dive right in because it's been way too long i have been waiting 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 and i've heard super amazing things about this series and sky beyond the storm also i've been hearing good things about and before we start the vlog i hope that you guys enjoy watching this and i don't know i feel like i've been out of touch with vlogs since last year late last year but i'm going to come back You know what it's 1 a.m and i am on now on page 127 right now and oh my god what even is this book i don't know why i'm getting all emotional over it okay because there are a f there is hmm, not a few characters there is one character who, who i'm hating from the depths of my soul and i hmm if this book is making me feel like this at not even i think this is about um quarter way through and if it's making me feel like this at this point i have 75 percent more of this book to go and three more books in this series and i well this is amazing what this about two years ago but i'm finally getting to it and now i'm kicking myself for having waited for so long how do you even describe this book this is the story of laya who whose uh, brother is taken in a, a nighttime raid her grandparents are killed and now she has to do something to save her brother how will she do it because she thinks that she is not that courageous brave kind of woman she doesn't know what to do so now she has to find that courage within herself that strength within herself on the other hand there is elias who is uh, training at the black cliff academy and uh, he is a mask who they, they are very well trained soldiers and mm, he is just on the brink of becoming be, of graduating from the academy and he has seen a lot of gore and violence from the empire side but he doesn't want to do it anymore and he wants to escape and on the other hand laya now that she's looking to uh, free her brother in exchange for for uh, her brother's life she collaborates with the resistance who are working against the empire she uh, works with them and now she has to serve as a slave to the commandant and keep an eye on what's happening and all and so now is the place in the book 
where laya is has come to the commandant's place i don't know what even am i even talking so she has now come to become a slave it's just a first day not even first day first hour of being a slave to the commandant and i have a feeling that these two's paths are going to cross sooner than later because that's what the whole book is probably about i think and i'm so like i've literally told you the story that has happened so far but i'm not sorry because that's what lays the foundation to this whole trilogy not trilogy quartet sorry so oh my god saba tahir's writing is amazing she truly writes so well i mean there's it's not witty like saraja mas's novels but it is it has its own beauty it has its own raw strength and power and i'm really liking that about her writing here see if it were up to me i would finish this book overnight but i have to go work on something now and then i have to sleep early which is like a joke but i have to sleep early so that i can wake up tomorrow and film some videos and i'm really sad to have to stop reading this but maybe once i finish that particular task that i have in mind maybe i will read for about half an hour more i will update you on my progress tomorrow itself okay i'll see you tomorrow on the other side and hope that i will be able to get through the whole book I would really want to. Oh my god. Hey people, it is 18th of January, I think if I'm not mistaken. I'm losing all sense of time and uh, I am about to start reading this book again from where I left off last night. I am on page 127 and now what I am going to do is I'm going to go somewhere and read. It's going to remind me of times in bc before corona but i'm going to go do that i don't have to say anything else but that's what i wanted to update you guys on i don't know if i will be able to film in the coffee house in the cafe but um, if i am not able to film anything even if i'm not talking then i will come back and update <laughs> in a clip i don't even know what i talk sometimes but one in the am and because i'm a lazy bum and i cannot get bring myself to go and set up the camera to film i am filming on my phone and i hope that this will be enough for now i finished i think how many 100 and 100 plus pages i managed to finish and uh, i haven't been able to read since i, I came home at around 6:30 in the evening and i've been working ever since and it's 1 o'clock and it's been 6 and a half hours and i'm only now getting free so what i will do is i will read for some time before i go and sleep but what i wanted to tell you about an ember in the ashes is that i mean how can a book make you feel this much how I mean I was on the verge of crying okay there were two sentences that completely broke me and there was one word nothing which absolutely I was sitting at that coffee shop I read it and then I looked up outside at the traffic and I wondered how can people continue to go on the way they are going when I am going through such an emotional upheaval how how can people be so callous and the, it there's so much adrenaline throughout the book man there's so much not much many so many feels i am not prepared man i am so not prepared i see what people were saying i see all of you who have been recommend this uh, recommending this book to me left right and center and uh, especially you know what the last person i remember actually watching 
losing their mind over an ember in the ashes is isabella from throne of pages you should have seen her uh, reading vlog and ever since then i've been like hmm, i'm going to go read this book let me see what is there to lose this one's mind mind about now i know overconfidence this is called and now i'm like why are you doing this to me okay so it is 2:30 in the afternoon of the 19th of january and uh, last night was it last night it was this morning <laughs> so i <laughs> stayed up till 3 reading an ember in the ashes and i i'm at about page 301 right now man i can't even the amount of adrenaline that courses through each page in this book and throughout the story the characters are amazing the the conflicts that they are going through their thoughts and their reasoning there's so much going on in this book i didn't think i could love a book in just half of it like by reading just half of it i didn't think i would fall in love with the book but if i finish this in the next few hours i'm not saying two i'm saying few if i finish this then i'm damn sure that i will pick up the second book before i go to sleep definitely because this is that good so and i want to know what's next things are getting so interesting right now i mean it they started off interesting in the first place but now they are like going off the charts man i am like how can you make me this emotional but yeah so that is the plan uh, right now There's still hundred pages to go. I'm on page three forty four. No. And this is just the first book. There's three more books to go. This chapter. So I have a grip on myself now. it took me about 15 20 minutes to get control over my own emotions although i'm not okay yet but i can put up a front but this book is so good man i mean it's making me super emotional for fictional characters yet again like that's a surprise and th this all this talk of jins and uh, efrits and all of this and fey and warriors and scholars and war when i read the hunger games and i thought mm, how can you put people into a competition 12 people into a competition and then have them kill each other and now I am like hmm, that was nothing nothing at all and uh, this book is like smashing everything else
no every moment i think that this book cannot stun me any further it brings on another curve ball i am a tennis baller what you're playing with me here and there here and there my head is not in the right place and this book wants me to feel things i mean i'm not complain that's not a complaint i like when books make me feel things please make me feel things every time always please I am at page 355 54 four and I have about 95 pages to go before this book ends and I'm not prepared <laughs> No and was it me who said that I will be able to finish this book before coffee time me this person this super ambitious person Hey people it's about a uh, 12:40 in the AM and I'm still considering this as part of the vlog for 19th of January because I haven't gone to sleep yet no I know I might have said in an earlier clip that I will finish this by today evening and once I finish it I will start the second book in this series but that's not happening I mean I will finish this but picking the second book will happen tomorrow but yes i am <laughs> i am at part 3 of an ember in the ashes and things just keep on happening and i don't know what to do about it except to you know just keep reading i've been squealing about this book since i i mean half way through maybe even since i started what do i even remember uh, what is time what is memory what is me reading stuff who knows things have always been interesting in this book but with every few pages the author she comes at you with a hatchet and she hacks away at your brain and your heart and she makes you cry buckets like i know my hair is a mess but that's not the only thing that's not okay about me i knew it i knew something was wrong this you know what i guess this one but it still breaks my heart i will fucking kill you you ass Come here. You you come here right now. One minute. Okay. Hmm. So, I just finished this. It is one twenty nine. I mean, I'm fifteen minutes later. But it doesn't matter because I finished this book. And oh, oh my god, where do I put my head? Come on, this is like a five stars, man. Five fucking stars. there's so much essence to this book there's oh every single character has so many nuances so many layers and them doing what they do there's so much meaning to it and i'm so glad i decided to finally finally start reading this book and maybe vlog it also i think there's that there's a high possibility that this series is about to become one of my favorite series of all time and all i'll say right now is that this is freaking amazing i love this it's so fast paced so full of rich in detail rich in character detail as well not just in what is happening plot wise but also in the way that the characters are fleshed out i mean i'm running out of words but also i don't know words when it comes to what i want to talk about this book it's like that
go read this book i mean i'm probably the last person in the world to actually start reading this series but go read this book if you haven't already hi peeps it is um 3 something of the 21st of january and i did not get anything read yesterday i did not read anything like i started a torch against the night but all i could read were nine pages nine and then i couldn't because i got stuck in some other work i'm hoping that i will get a big chunk of reading done from this book today but yes i'm really really excited to read this one it is i mean i want to know what happens but yeah i'm going to start reading this i'll read for an hour or so before it's coffee time I am 58 pages into this book and it's equally fast paced equally action packed as the first book and I am loving it I mean I'm taking some time to read it because I'm getting distracted as well and that is like one of my most distinguishing features you could say but it's now coffee time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside and go make some coffee and get take a break hey yo people i realize i haven't updated you about my progress for uh, the ember quartet and today is what date it is 24th of january and i am about wait uh, 135 pages into a torch against the night and i'm loving this also like what was there what was the surprise over here see the thing is i don't want to talk anything about this book because this is the second in the series and i don't want to spoil anything and i feel like i i have said this before in a previous clip i'm not sure but this is also as action packed as that but the thing about this is there's a lot of soul searching there's a lot of trying to decide who is right and who is not and trying to come to that compromise laya hmm i don't want to say anything no i don't want to say anything i realize that if i say anything just one sentence also that can be like people reading the first book will go oh, acha so they mm -hmm, this will happen towards the end and i don't want that to happen i want that mystery that suspense to stay for you but yeah i i see i was hoping to finish this by tonight but i am not sure if that's going to happen because i'm going to be starting a promised land by barack obama and i don't know if i can actually give it that much of time but let's see but yeah i'll keep you updated about what's going on and where i am in the book and what my feelings are maybe and i'll see you on the other side bye hey people it is uh, the 26th of january and it's 11:15 in the night i think it's been a couple of days since i updated for this vlog but i got back to reading this today and it has been one hell of a ride i started today at page 150 and i am now at page 305 and at this rate i think i can finish this book tonight i don't know if i will push myself to that point maybe the book will do that to me because it is so fast paced and so gripping but the thing is i have a bunch of books that trick need reading two of which are the third and fourth in the series but i don't want to push the series i want to enjoy it i want to savor it i don't want to 
rush these books for a vlog for a video although i have done that in the past but these books are too precious man you know what makes me even happier is because i started reading it after the series was complete and i'm grinning like an idiot out of nowhere but but i have spoken of everything in this whole wide world except to tell you about what exactly it is that happened while i was reading this book when some things happen i cry and such things happen in this book like it happened in ember in the ashes but there are points in this book where i'm going shit i hate that person or why did you have to do that and sava tahir what writing what world building what emotions she brings to the characters the conflict she puts them in it might seem very simple like very easy like why are you so why, why are you breaking your head over this this small of a problem you might think but you soon realize that it's not going to be that easy put yourself in that character's shoes and then tell me what you're going to do if this can happen imagine what is i don't even know what awaits me at the end of the series i am prepared but i'm also not prepared i think that's a book one problem no i don't want the series to end but i i'm so happy that i, I can binge read the series but i don't want it to end but i have the last book in the series what my hands are aching i'm actually holding the camera in my hands and they are aching like hell so i'm going to just end this clip over here and i'll see you in the next update okay bye i cannot even be bothered to switch on another light so that it's falling on my face because this book is wrecking me it is wrecking me yet again because there have been some revelations which are are blowing my mind and i cannot bring myself to do anything about it because i cannot it's a fucking story and it is peeling off my layers it is you know what i've been having hair fall lately and maybe it's because of this book because i have done this so many times I can every time something like this happens I'm like I am not prepared I was not prepared and the author Sabat Ahi she thinks she can play with my emotions like this I mean she can she can do whatever she wants take my emotions I don't need them take my heart I don't need it take my brain I don't need it no take it all I don't need anything give me more books hmm thanks what the heck what the heck in ten hells and bleeding skies is going on in this book i mean i knew that something was wrong something somewhere was wrong which i could not put a finger upon but this can i breathe please i mean what the do you know what sabat air has this habit of i mean i've read only two of her works but still i speak like i've read 20 of her books but she has this habit where she throws this twist this huge twist about 100 90 100 pages from the end and then we're like i am shooketh that is the least that's the best thing i can say right now i am shook like hell because this book is like that i mean my brain isn't working like i don't even know what i'm talking like look i'm holding the camera in all 25 million different directions none of them are straight okay i'm 90 pages from the end and i am sure that i'm going to finish it i cannot sleep if i don't finish this book today i will finish this and then sleep <laughs> this happens every night okay like i will like go oh, today i'm going to sleep early but then something like this happens and it's all gone out the window
no 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 what the hell <laughs> absolutely not No, 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 listen to me, no, listen to me. One thing, one thing I'm telling, why do you have to make me suffer like this? One thing you tell, what, just, I'm like 50 pages from the end and, and I'm almost, I'm this, this close to a nervous breakdown. This, this close. Because I cannot fathom this, this, this. Okay, so it is, what is the time? 2 a.m. And I just finished reading this book and what the heck, what the biggest, baddest, absolute heck. Like I can, if you've already been watching me, you'll, you'd, you'll have seen that I am not okay. Like I cried and even at the very end that that last sentence who gave you the right? How do you write a book so well? Tell me, I like I need to know. You know what? I I read 300 pages of this book today. Today alone. It, it sends you into a state of frenzy okay because you need to know what's happening you need to just keep flipping the pages you just need to read 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 and find out what's happening and then when the sledgehammer comes at your head you are not prepared this book came in like a wrecking ball where you expected it you expected the wrecking ball to come at you but you were not prepared for it either way. How does that happen? Ask this lady, no? This lady. So oh, wait. Ask this lady. She'll know. See, I don't even remember the last book that I had such a reaction for. Maybe because I'm on the high of this book. And Ember in the Ashes doesn't count because it's in the same series. You know, there's there are tears which come from deep sorrow and longing and identification and then there are tears that come from sheer unexpectedness and unexpected sorrow as well but this is that what the hell just happened and that kick to the gut where will you go where do you go in such situations who do you turn to nobody turn to yourself look inwardly and you cry, you form such a bond with these characters that you want every single one of them to be happy, but you know that they are not going to be happy in the technical sense. What the hell? Oh God. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right now, I'm just going to pause. What pause? I finished this book and I need to start Reaper at the Gates. <sighs> Today, it's going to be mm -hmm, enough for today i'm not going to start reaper at the gates because i am like i need time to process everything that happened in this give me time i i cannot afford to just go and plunge into a reaper at the gates because i know that i'm not going to be okay because i'm still not okay okay before i blather on any further let me just say that this is my last update for today. All you have to know at this point is that I'm not okay. Bye.